So back in 2020, my husband and I decided to subscribe to a composting service here in San Antonio called Compost Queens because like all of you, we were at home cooking for ourselves and we quickly realized that we were gonna start creating a lot of food waste that we didn't want to have go to waste. And it's pretty simple. You just go to one of their sites, pick up one of these tubs along with some bokashi and then throw your food waste into it. Once it's full, take it to one of their drop-off sites, get another bin, rinse and repeat. And up until this point, I've kind of just been doing it blindly, you know, not really thinking about what happens to the food after I drop it off to them. I don't really know the process of how our food waste goes from being just that, food waste, to becoming compost. So. So I showed up to Talking Tree Farm, which is located just outside of San Antonio in Schertz, Texas. Compost Queens is actually a co-op member of the farm. There's a variety of different farmers and small agricultural businesses here. They have classes on agriculture and sustainability for kids to adults. It's actually really cool what they're doing out here. So I'll make sure to link to their site in the description box. That way, if you're in the area, you can check them out. All right, I'm here at a farm, learning what happens to my compost when I go and drop it off. Flies, lots of flies. So this is actually pretty neat because we're not very far away from where I am based in San Antonio. While I sign my volunteer release form, let's backtrack a little bit to where this whole cycle begins, with my food. As Mr. Halisa and I make dinner and have food waste, we throw it into our bin. When I'm pruning my house plants into the bin. When I realize it's time to clean out the fridge and get rid of that moldy cheese or that moldy half a jalapeno that I left in there because the recipe only required, you know, a quarter of a jalapeno. And what am I gonna do? Throw that jalapeno away? I'm just gonna put it back in the fridge. It all goes in the bin. And every few days, I add a little bit of Bakashi brand to it. Bakashi brand is a combination of essential microbes, molasses, water, and different brand types, usually wheat or rice brand. Essentially, it's what starts the fermentation process of Bokashi style composting. Yes, there are multiple styles of composting. I didn't know this, but now I do, which is generally faster than regular composting. It also helps to produce nutrient rich soil. But anyway, back to the farm. Can you describe what you're doing right now? Absolutely. Um, I am taking four temperatures out of this pile. We'll average them together to get the average temperature. And we are just gauging to see where the, temp, uh, where the pile is at, which will then inform us if we need to open it, water it, increase carbon, increase nitrogen. We really wanna be somewhere between 130 to around 150. Um, as the compost um, increases in mass and size, the internal temperature will skyrocket. The hotter they get, the less the fungi and microbes don't like the hot temperature, so they have a harder time surviving. But here's the caveat. We allow meat byproducts. So poultry, bones, beef, Ugh, I hate fish days. We also have to raise the temperatures to this high point to kill off those pathogens. To the naked eye, this just looks like a lot of just piles of dirt or potentially garbage, but it's actually this whole epic process that takes a lot of work to maintain. So the first pile here is from compost that they have been processing from February. That's what this first big pile is. Then the pile after that is from November. So they've been working with that pile since November of 2022. And then the pile, the third smallest pile, which they've almost completely finished processing and turning into soil and then either giving to farms or selling, etc., is from August. So this whole process takes like three to four months from the time I actually bring my bin to a distribution 
point and they take it and bring it here to the time it's finally actually finally processed, turned into soil that people can then use on their farms, etc. It takes like four months. So this process is actually pretty labor intensive and epic. And it's just really cool to see it all happening in front of me. I think what excites me the most about composting is the regenerative nature of the whole process. Sure, it's very labor intensive, but the payoff is like really high. For example, New York City throws away roughly 14 million tons of trash a year, costing them around $400 million to do so. Because of this, they recently built out an organics program, one of the biggest in the country, actually. In fact, in Queens alone, the program has already diverted over 12 million pounds of materials from the landfill. I mean, that's not nothing, that's something. That's a whole something. And composting isn't just about creating nutrient-rich soil for community gardens or local farmers, etc. Don't get me wrong, that stuff's cool too. It can also produce natural gas. The process of composting gives off biogas, which when refined can be used in pipelines and to power trucks. And it's just all right there. That half-eaten bagel that you need to throw away or that fridge you need to empty actually holds nutrient-rich energy. It's amazing. Now, since starting to film this video, Mr. Hollis and I have relocated to Atlanta, Georgia from Texas. And one of the first things I did when we moved here was try to figure out who we were going to be composting with. Thankfully, it was actually a little bit easier to find a spot. And we're using Compost Now. It's a nonprofit organization that's based in actually a few different cities, kind of all around the south west east southeast southeast region i'll put the cities in the atmosphere because they they're in a bunch of different places but they actually come here and pick up the compost directly from me if you're in any of the cities floating in the atmosphere right now and you want to give them a try i have just like a basic code you know give 10 get 10 kind of thing i really do consider composting to be part of my overall just utilities of living and existing in this country you know i think of it the same way i think of my sewer trash and water bill it's all part of existence for me but the reality is is that it's not you know there's not really a centralized place to figure out all the composting capabilities of the space that you're in. You really gotta be on your Google grind trying to figure out if there's a nonprofit organization in your area where you can drop off compost or a business that's filling in the gap because your city maybe doesn't have it. Or genuinely, like San Antonio, a city service that you can utilize, similar, usually rolled up in with the sanitation of whatever city you're in. And so, you know, if composting is something that you're interested in and you've recently learned maybe that it's hard to find the service in your area, consider sending this video to a representative and see what happens. You know, if it don't make dollars, then it don't make sense. We live in a capitalist country, so it's gotta make dollars and cents for most reps to even start to really think about it, right? And so I'll also try to link some more information in the description box as well. Let me know if you are interested in composting or even if you're not, but I've potentially maybe just made you think a little differently about things. I don't know. No shame at all. Let me know in the comments below. If you're new here again though, I'm Halise, endeavoring to persevere as always. And on this channel, I document my chaotic good life. Subscribe, follow social media, all of the things. A big shout out to my Patreon producers, patreon.com slash There you get early access to my videos, exclusive content and merch. It's a good time. Again, I'm Halise, and I'll see you when I see you.